People are waiting to get their car washed. Unlimited wash pass, 1999. Sounds like a deal. And this car wash has been in operation for 40 years here in Western Massachusetts. To the West Blue River. People treat rivers like dumps. It's kind of annoying because right out there you can see a really neat natural phenomena that I noticed 35 years ago. I call it a ring of ice. I mean, it's really an ice disc most of the time, but sometimes you see the thin spot in the middle. Sometimes that is gone, and it's like a big lifesaver spinning around. And it's not spinning right now. It's locked in because it's really cold. Not every year, but most years. At least once on the lower Westfield River where the entering Westfield sign is located, this ring of ice will form, and it's pretty darn cool. This is an example of hydrology at its best. And if you come here um, at the right time, you'll see a single little disc of ice spinning. And it'll get bigger and bigger until it looks like a saw blade. And then bigger. It looks like a swimming pool. And then even bigger than that. And ultimately, it gets so big. And when the temperature drops enough, it gets locked in. And that's what you see here. It's locked in. You might call it an ice disc. I've always called it an ice ring because sometimes it's hollow in the middle. And because it's so darn cold, it's locked in right now. I wish I had gotten here earlier in the morning and it would have been spinning like a big saw blade. But you can see the current right over here. And the current's coming in and it's moving along like this and it hits a rock ledge and it creates a big eddy, a big whirlpool. And that whirlpool creates the disc or ring of ice. There's the old Western Railroad right there, rocketing by Amtrak. Their one trip to Albany every day, heading out. Here's Route 20, just before Christmas. Everybody's doing their thing, moving back and forth from the Westfield shops or wherever they're going. And then here is our ring of ice. Discs of ice like this are not unheard of. One of them got tremendous popularity during the COVID time as it appeared in Maine, I think on the Kennebec River. And the news had nothing to do, so they came out and they shot the ring or the disc. Look at that. There's a duck. Good old duck flying over the disc. So these discs are located anywhere. You just got to see them in the winter on frigid days. People don't really want to get out and look at them or look for them. You're not typically on water or near water as much on a five degree day as you would be if it was summertime. And right here where I am, this river is practically no man's land between Route 20 and the railroad tracks here. And Robinson State Park on the other side, hardly anybody ever gets down to this river, right next to the car wash. So it's a natural wonder, in my opinion, if it was located on a different river, people would be coming from all over to see it. I'll tell you, I've seen small ones and big ones like this all over the river systems of Western Mass and New York. And you'll see them in a little eddy, spinning especially when it gets real cold like it is now, and I could barely hold this camera. But because of where we are, right on Route 20, most people just drive right by it. I used to work at the gas station down there, and uh, because I went to Western State College, I'd go driving by this excellent-looking hole every day, and I'd look down there, because you know, this is fishing historic places. And I would imagine what kind of fish are in this particular pool. Caught some decent trout in here, by the way. But the ring of ice has formed, and it's December 22nd, 2024. I don't know if it formed last year. It formed the year before, though. And uh, it all, it's all about the conditions and the level of the river. So if you're in West Springfield and you're driving around, if you've got a river near you that's cold enough, look for rings of ice. And Merry Christmas from Fishing Historic Places.